Today I'm going to remove the existing badge from a Chevy Corvette and add a custom Emblem Pro's Z51 Performance Package badge using my secret weapon, which is Dental Floss. Make no mistake, the original Stingray badge is amazing, but I wanted to do something a little bit more custom. So let's go ahead and get started. Make sure that you pull enough dental floss to actually wrap around the actual badge and enough to wrap around your fingers for you to go back and forth. Last thing you want is a short piece which will make it extremely difficult for you to rip that badge off. Let's get started. Make sure that you get it behind the badge and when you're going back and forth you actually want to make a motion of pulling towards you. Do not push towards your paint. You do not want to cause damage to your paint. Be sure to alternate the front and the back. And the faster you go back and forth with that dental floss, the hotter the floss gets, the easier it is to make that glue and tape that's on that badge come off. Now you are gonna have some excess 3M tape that's still stuck to the vehicle. You're gonna see a lot of videos out there that tells you to use certain tools. My suggestion is peel as much off with your finger, fingernails and fingers that you possibly can. This will cause the least amount of harm or damage to your paint. Once you've removed as much as you can with your fingers, there's still going to be a small film that's going to be on there that's going to be very difficult for you to take off. What you actually want to do is just use some rubbing alcohol and a microfiber towel. And you actually want to use a back and forth motion to actually get some of that excess off. It's a good idea not to press too hard when you're doing your back and forth and circular motion of buffing. Continue to rub and buff. Do not push in extremely hard. Again, we are not trying to cause any damage to your paint. After you've rubbed as much as you can off with the rubbing alcohol, use a polishing compound and rebuff that entire section. Again, use a microfiber towel. Do not press extremely hard. You want to get this as clean and clear as possible. Next up, use painter's tape to place the badge where you want it. Remember, you are doing this on a permanent basis, so make sure it's exactly where it needs to be. Be sure to use a leveler. This will ensure that your badge is straight in the location that you've picked. Your final step is removing the 3M tape. Press the badge hard, and if you have a heating gun, it's a good opportunity to go ahead and heat it up to ensure that that tape is bonding to the body of the vehicle. And it's on there. All done. 